got to find out who I am. I got to know where I fit in. Florida was the first state to fully privatize child welfare. When that happened, private companies sprung up across the state. And these folks had very expensive CEOs and chief financial officers. A huge amount of expense created an overhead that never existed in the system before. Life here was hectic. It was crazy. It was exactly the type of situation you would not want your child to be in. No one's knowing the double lives that they're living and they could go across the street and make some money for sex to get what they need and to take care of the stuff that is not provided by the system and it's become normalized. The system's not working, the diagnosis is wrong, the preventions are not there, something is really a foul. Caring for children is a business. Business has a bottom line. Those kids are the dollars that you've got to get in. If you really go through it, it kind of feels like they're kidnapping you in the middle of the night. They're putting you in a home that you don't know anybody and they isolate you from your family members and you're alone. This is my closet. This is where I had to hide at. Angel appears to be experiencing some gender confusion. <sighs> Strip, what are you doing? I'm a little girl. It's like incarceration with training wheels, basically, is what they're going through. No, you deserve to grow up in this place right here, aging out of this place. I'm telling you, we need to get out of there. This man raped me. And you tell me, stop imagining things that are not there. All of us felt like we were criminals. We're being disciplined for something that our parents did. Like a sign on the street, like an instinct within me.